I'm Deb Shoemaker, an art therapist with Integrated Therapy Associates, and I would like to talk with you a little bit about how art therapy can help people who have depression and bipolar disorder. So depression often, um, part of depression can often come from just suppressing feelings and keeping them inside. And sometimes when something really, really sad has happened, um, it's difficult for people to talk about. It might be something that was embarrassing or just too painful for words. So the art process can give people a way to express those feelings and get them out onto the paper or in the clay or collage or whatever medium they're using. Um, so that helps in and of itself with depression because we know that when we keep our feelings stuffed in, they're either going to implode or explode and um, that's, that's what depression is. It's, it's a graphic indicator for people, so it, it can be a really good way to, um, to mark when a manic episode is an early onset um, because the, the, the artwork, the images um, do change. And some uh, examples of what someone who is going through a manic stage, art, their artwork may look like is lots of colors, um, colors that don't that may not be realistic to uh, to the image, although that's not you know mutually that exclusive. Again, not always, but um, or or just all over the place on the paper, needing more paper, needing more art supplies. Those can be indicators for the clinician and for the client or patient to 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 actually identify that there is the the mania stage um, going on or surfacing and then whatever that person has in place for their coping skills can be employed. And, and that varies for people. For some, it might be an, um, information to uh, check their meds with their physician, or it might be um, they have other coping skills that they, that, that particular person has in place, and, and that's um, like a, a flag for them to, to know to get those in order or maybe uh, exercising as one to so get to the gym or go for a walk or contacting their support system. Remember to always consult with a professional art therapist for more information.